After getting his Nichiren sword, Tanjiro was ready to leave for his first mission. Urukodake decided to flex hard on the Demon Slayer clothes production. Tells Tanjiro that it was made of a special fabric that was lightweighted, water resistant and non-flammable. He also cautioned Tanjiro that his sword turned black, which was a bad omen, and Tanjiro is like, "Bitch, my family got massacred. My little sister is a demon. What else bad can happen with me?" Well, you will see Tanjiro. Urukodaki gives Tanjiro a wooden box in which he can carry Nezuko. Nezuko crawls inside and Tanjiro closes the box, just like women should be, always in the dark and surrounded by walls. <sighs> Misogynistic views. Finally, Tanjiro reached the town in the northwest. A guy named Kazumi took Tanjiro to the spot where his fiance Satoku suddenly vanished in thin air yesterday night tanjiro could smell the demon's presence and started to follow the smell it's night time now a girl named toki her mom told her to be indoor so she will be safe from the demons and <coughs> humans but the demon was already in their house see that girls aren't even safe indoors from demons also humans Toki went to sleep wondering where the girls would be who have disappeared. It's okay Toki, you soon gonna know where they went. The demon drags Toki into his swamp. Before he could eat her, Tanjiro figures it out that the demon was moving underground and stabs his sword, injuring the demon on his shoulder and snatching the girl away from the demon. Tanjiro swings his blade again as the demon attacked him, splitting into three individual demons with different personality. One of the demons started whining about how the girl was 16 and she is losing flavor. What flavor is he talking about? Which his other self brags about how he had been feasting on other 16-year-old girls and they were meaty and delicious. While the third self was just grinding his teeth and the demon revealed that he had already eaten Sakuto while making Kazumi cry the demon attacks Tanjiro from behind but Nezuko comes out of her box and kicks the demon's head making it spin around like a fidget spinner this girl loves kicking The demon heals himself and appears again his half body underground as Nezuko rushes toward him she raises one leg damn that's a lucky demon <coughs> i mean i mean Nezuko stomps his head but he evades now Nezuko was helping Tanjiro protect Kazumi and Toki as Urukodaki had used some kind of hypnosis on her making her see his family members in other humans Tanjiro jumps into the swamp to fight two demons while Nezuko stays outside protecting our NPCs. Tanjiro's water breathing attacks were more effective underground. He trapped the two demons in a whirlpool, slicing their heads and body parts into pieces, slaying them. Swimming back to the surface, Tanjiro slices the demon's arm, immobilizes him. This demon little bitch starts whining saying girls get ugly when they grow old seriously girls get ugly when they grow old have you ever seen a milf finally tanjiro slices down his head ending the terror in the town as he heads out for his second mission